In this video, I'm going to talk about how a dealer works with options. So recall from a previous video that we priced a call option. Again, fairly contrived example, but basically we had a market a stock trading at 52, risk-free interest rates were 5%, and we made the assumption that the stock could either go to 55 in three months or 49 in three months. We then priced a call option with a strike of 52 and maturity of three months, and we found the value was 1.8043, and we found a delta, which we'll talk about now, we talked about the delta of half a share. So, a dealer makes markets, and the way they make markets is they sell options or sell anything at a price slightly more than fair, and they buy them at a price slightly less than fair. So imagine we have a dealer that is going to make a market in these options, these call options, at 175, 185, meaning they sell at 185 and they buy at 175. So a client comes to the dealer and decides to buy the option from the dealer. The dealer sells the option for 185. Now we're going to use that delta. And what we're going to do is the dealer is going to buy half a share for $26. Again, the share price is 52, so he buys half a share for 26. Now, in order to do this, he needs to borrow some money, 26 minus $1.85. He needs to borrow $24.15. And so this is the dealer's portfolio. And what we're going to do is look at what happens to this portfolio when the stock goes to 55 and what happens when it goes to 49. <clears throat> so stock goes to 55. Well, the client is going to exercise their option. If the client exercises a call option, that gives them the right to buy one share for $52, which means the dealer needs to buy another half share because he owns half a share and he needs one share to deliver to the client. So he buys half a share for 27 and a half. He delivers his share and receives 52. Now, he also has to repay his borrowing. Remember, he borrowed $24.15. That $24.15 grows at the risk-free rate, 5% for three quarters of a year. So 24.15 E to the RT is 24.4538. That gives the dealer a profit of 52 minus 27 and a half minus 24.4538 or 4.62 cents. Now let's look at what happens if the share price goes from 52 to 49. Again, same dealer portfolio. The option is no longer going to be exercised. The dealer owns half a share, so he sells half a share for $24.5. He has to repay that borrowing again, $24.45.38. And net, he makes 24.5 minus 24.4538 or 4.62 cents. So the dealer, by setting up this portfolio, became indifferent to what happened to the share. He didn't care whether it went from up to 55 or down to 49. The client clearly did, but the dealer didn't care. He made 4.62 cents in either case. Now the 4.62 cents represents the profit the dealer made up front. So he sold it for 185. The fair value was 1.8043. And so he made money up front. And if you grow that profit at the risk-free rate, you get 4.62 cents. Now let's look and see what happens if a client wants to sell to the dealer. So if the client's selling to the dealer, the dealer is buying an option for $1.75. His hedge, he's gonna borrow half a share and sell the half share for $26. This portfolio, these two actions, raises money for the dealer, so he's going to invest his money, $24.25, at the risk-free rate. And again, we can wait until the maturity of the option, either the stock's at 55 or the stock's at 49. If the stock is at 55, the dealer is going to exercise the option. So he exercises the option, pays 52, and receives one share. Now, half of that share he has to return, right? He has to return half the share to the lender of the shares at the beginning. The other half, he sells. So he sells half a share for $27.5. 
Finally, he's got this investment, the $24.25. So that is now worth 24.25 e to the RT, or 24.5550. Net, the dealer has made 27 and a half, has made 24.5550, and has paid 52. Net, he's made five and a half cents. Now let's look at what happens to the dealer's portfolio if the stock ends up at 49. In this case, he is not going to exercise the option, right? He has the right to buy the stock for $52, but it's trading at 49, so he should not exercise that right. He is short half a share, so he needs to buy it back for 24 and a half, return that half share to the lender. He redeems the investment, it's the same 24.5550, and net, he's made 24.5550 from his investment, he's paid 24 and a half, net he's made five and a half cents. Again, he's indifferent to what happens. So this dealer has made his market 175, 185. He doesn't care what the client does. If the client buys the option from him at 185, he makes money. If the client sells the option to him at 175, he makes money. He makes present value up front, in this case 1.8043 minus 175, grown at the risk-free rate to the maturity of the option. And that's the five and a half cents. And this we can see is how the dealer operates in the options market. He sells an option, hedges the delta, buys a different option, hedges the delta, and so on. And on every trade, he makes his spread, the spread between the bid or the ask and the fair value.